Now let's look at how we can optimize the range kernel. And remember the range kernel is a reduction, so it's going to need some synchronization. And we did the synchronization by doing it in two steps, but we found it slowed things down. So we went ahead and we put range on our device, and it ran faster on the CPU, and that was great because it was running in parallel, but on the GPU it ran much slower. So we actually slowed down our range reduction by moving it to the GPU. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Well, why did read data speed up? Well, it's only 65% faster. We reduced our data from 64 megabytes to 32 kilobytes, but it's not a lot faster. And the reason for this is it's not just the transfer time for the data, we also have overheads for setting up everything. So every time we do a transfer, it takes us some time to get it going, and that can add up as well. But the real issue here is the range kernel. Why is it three times slower? Why was it that when we made this kernel parallel and put it on the GPU, it ran three times more slowly than doing it in serial on the CPU? So what's going on here? Well, if we look at these options here, is synchronization slower? Well, it's, it's actually the same synchronization we had on the CPU before. The GPU is just running a kernel and then synchronizing by sending it to the CPU. Do we have to access a lot of data? It's the same amount of data as before. We have to go over all of it. Are we sending back a lot of data? Well, we're actually sending back much less data, so that's not the issue. And what it turns out is the access pattern is really bad. The range kernel we wrote is uncoalesced. So the access pattern is going to be very bad for the GPU. So let's take a look at this. So let's make a simple assumption here. Let's assume that every time we access DRAM, we read 128 bytes or four floats. Now, the access pattern we have here is uncoalesced. So thread zero is going to read these four floats when it just wants the first one. Thread one is going to read these four when it just wants the first one. So we've now read eight floats here, even though we really only want to process two of them. So what we do here with this setup is the first thread is going to read four floats, four, 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 but we only use one of each of those reads. And the caches on the GPUs aren't large enough to keep the rest of the data around, so we end up wasting it. We read all this data from the GPU memory, but we can't use it. And what we need to do here is we need to coalesce our accesses. So a coalesce pattern is now very different. We're going to jump through each thread. But what it means is that threads are going to go in a nice order next to each other. The thread 0 is going to read this value, and then it's going to jump ahead to this value and that value. But th at the same time, thread 1 is going to read the next value and jump ahead. So what we get is this pattern. In the first iteration, threads 0, 1, 2, and 3 are all going to read from the same chunk of data from DRAM. And the next iteration, they read from the next one. So now we read 0, 1, 2, 3, and we use those values, but we're using them across different threads all at the same time. And as a result, we waste much less of the bandwidth. So the range kernel that we have right now is wasting a huge amount of its bandwidth because of the poor access pattern. Let's fix that and see what happens. So here's our range kernel that's been fixed to be coalesced. And what you see is the major change is that instead of iterating through one value, so going along in, a in an order, we're now jumping around. So now our coalesced access pattern, we're taking the first value and then we're going to jump over all the other threads to the next one, which means that each thread is now getting values next to each other. And when we do this, what do we get? Well, we've now got a really good speed up. So now range is running much, much faster. And we've got a good overall speed up. So we've done a very good job of accelerating both the update and the range compared to what we started with over here. And now running on our GPU, we're about 11 times faster.